Hey guys, my name's Seb and I'm the Associate Development Test Lead on Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Wildlands. Now on behalf of the whole development team, we want to wish you a warm welcome to this closed beta. Today, we are extremely excited to share with you the game that we've been working on for more than four years now. Ghost Recon Wildlands is the very first military shooter set in a massive, dangerous and responsive open world that you can play entirely in four players co-op or in solo. During this closed beta, you'll be able to discover the very first hours of Ghost Recon Wildlands in the province of Itaqua, one of the 21 regions of our massive open world. At the same time, we are launching the Ghost Recon Network, the ultimate platform for all Ghost Recon players. Log in now to create your task force, compare your stats, or plan your upcoming game sessions. Please do not hesitate to join the community and share your best moments by using the following hashtag. A new version of the fan kit is also available if you want to decorate your channel with the GRW colors. For more information, join the dedicated closed beta portal and invite your friends. Thanks again for your great support, Ghosts. We couldn't do it without you guys. We'll see you in the field soon. Aww, thanks, Sam. So, hey everyone, it's the Austin Dad here, and welcome to the Ghost Recon Wildlands beta. Um, I don't really know much about the Ghost Recon, like, story, like, or the franchise. I just know two Ghost Recon games. Well, because my cousin played them, and he wanted to do co-op. I was like, oh, I might as well. And it seems, like, really interesting. So, this game is set to release, if I'm not mistaken, in March. And basically, what's gonna happen is that, in this in this um, edition of Ghost Recon, you play as a <laughs> the Ghost Recon squad. Basically, a squad of elite special task force. And I think they have to take down a... Yeah, car, take the car to, like, a very, um notorious cartel down so basically if i rem if i know anything about ghost recon this game's gonna he rely heavily on co-op strategy and planning your attack last week a crude explosive detonated outside the u.s embassy in la paz bolivia two marine embassy guards were injured in the blast two days later a cia asset in central bolivia provided us with these images our analysts have identified the individual in the photo as DEA Special Agent Ricardo Ricky Sandoval, my friend. Sandoval has had spent the last six years investigating the local cocaine industry. Our understanding is that Sandoval was the intended target of the bombing. What the embassy bomb did not accomplish was completed up close and personal. Sandoval was captured, tortured, and killed. Then his body was dumped. We have yet to recover it. Our target, the group responsible for the embassy bombing and the death of Special Agent Sandoval, is the drug trafficking organization commonly known as the Santa Blanca Cartel. Yesterday, they were just narcos. Today, they're narco-terrorists. Initially, the Bolivian government resisted the Mexican cartel. They formed UNIDAD, a Bolivian special forces unit. It didn't go as planned. Thousands of bodies later, Politicians, police officers, and journalists have become an endangered species. The Bolivian government has imploded on itself. With no other options, the new president made a deal with Santa Blanca. You stop killing our people, we'll look the other way. Since then, Santa Blanca has turned Bolivia into the nexus of the South American drug trade. With their friends in Mexico, they also have a clear pipeline to the US and Canada. The only way to stop Santa Blanca for good is to completely dismantle them piece by piece. The cartel is organized into four operations. Production, smuggling, security, and influence. At the top of it all is El Jefe de los Jefes, boss of bosses, El Sueño. Holy crap, that was, that's why I call it an interesting-ass intro. So, yeah, basically we have to take out that cartel because if we don't, they're going to basically, you know, flood America and Canada with drugs, and we do not want that at all. You know, this reminds me, this reminds me of that show on Netflix called Narcos. Like, if I remember, or create my character, gender, okay, so... Huh. You know, I you know, you know what? I want to be a female. Because, like, you know, like, being a male character in these kind of games is, like, very generic and very, like been there done that so I want to try a female like okay so head uh, face mer 
I, I, okay, there we go. I'm, I'm like, cause like, imagine like, cause doing like, be, being a female and doing all these bad stuff is why I love video games. Cause like, having a strong female character in games like these, it just, it just makes it all the more better. So, so far I'm gonna go with Murphy. But, oh, hmm. She reminds me of Angelina Jolie a little bit, so, yeah. Oh wait, oh, Sparky, Sparky looks good. Uh. Mm, I'm, I'm maybe Keller. Or is, you know, I'm gonna go with Keller. See what else we got. Snake, uh, Foxy, Blade. Oh, oh, the cheekbones though. Oh, uh, Manson, Mason. You know, actually, I have a friend named Mason, but you know, mm, Mason or Keller. You know, I'm gonna stick with Keller. I'm gonna stick with Keller. Eye color, uh, blue, blue eyes. Got I cause facial hair. Yeah, oh, yeah. Wait, wait, Phoebus can have facial hair? Hey, ponytail. That looks kind of good. Shaved. Uh, no, thank you. Sweared away. Uh, no. <laughs> Shaggy. Uh, Mohawk? What? <laughs> no. Cordrose. Um, no. Undercut, then? No. That's all we have so far for customization? Shaggy. I guess. I guess, I guess Shaggy, then. Hair color. Uh, oh, red. That's. Uh, I thought it'd be like red, red. Uh, blonde. Uh, I don't know. I might have to go with. Red, yeah. Cause, cause it looks. Cause like I don't know why, but it reminds me of Conan O'Brien a lot. Razor Flash. Ooh, that's kind of bad. Saber, wait, Saber Scar. That's cool. That is cool. Some items appear to unleash into a lot of teams. Oh, defeat Elgato. Oh, okay. So, Ice Scar. Okay, bump. Oh! Oh. Oh, burn? You know what? I like the Ice Scar, but it looks, it looks super cool. <laughs> Can I change it to the other eye, though? Now? Okay. Yeah, she looks really... Yeah, she looks like, a, like, a, like you know, you don't fuck with her. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I'm going with her. Appearance. Body detail. Fa facial paint. Uh, Screaming Eagles. Command... You know, I'm not really that big of a fan of facial paint when it comes to, like... You know, like army, like army dudes. Uh, traditional sleeve, traditional detailed. Ooh, that looks kind of cool. Die. That looks kind of cool. Oh wait. Oh, that looks so cool. Oh, I got to defeat DJ. Oh, okay. So the, that one, and then the left arm, flying eagle, bow flying eagle, chimera. Ooh, that looks really cool. Ooh, oh wait, pity, petty. That looks really cool. Okay, so far it's gonna be that one. Battlefield Cross, Mi Familia, Ghosty Skull. Oh shit, that looks. But you know what? The Petty looks even cooler. Yeah, that's even cooler. That looks. Yeah, I. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Clothes. So we got hoodie. What the fuck? Oh, these are like the. Let me change the. Okay, you know, let me change the top first. Um, can, I, can I get rid of the vests? Can I get rid of the vests? Because that's, like, really, like, super annoying. So, I'm just going to go with t-shirt. You know, I'm just going to go with hoodie. Wait, cry combat shirt? Ugh, no. no I'm just going to go with hoodie and be done with it. Santa Blanca shirt. King Lumpy. Oh, I have be Okay, so I'm just going to go with hoodie. Vests. Uh, heavy MB, tactical, Molly, molten harness, none. I kind of like. I kind of like. Wait, does the vest like? Um, you no, know, I'm gonna go with none. I don't know if like like not having a vest would like you know make it so that you know I get I get hit more. But I kind of like you know being all natural when it comes to being a complete badass. Ooh, Gilly. You know I'm gonna go with. That one. Yeah, because, like, looking all natural and shit, like, not even looking like you're a commando badass is, like, even more badass. Yeah, even look, yeah, ghillie suit. Compacted. <laughs> Can't hold that thing. Oh, strands. Yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't, I was never that kind of a ghillie suit kind of guy. I was never really that kind of ghillie suit kind of guy. Accessories. Lift the goggles. You know, let me take off the helmet first. Let me take off the helmet. Oh, yeah, shit, that looks so badass! 
Eyewear. Uh, ant goggles. Eye patch. Oh, I'm gonna become big boss of this shit. <laughs> go glasses. You know what? I kind of want to go with those. No, I, yeah, I kind of want to go with these. Face wear. Uh, two hole Bolivia. Bandana. Oh, that looks so badass. DM Scar. That looks. Wait, Skull Bandana? Oh, come on, game. Gas mask? Nah. Ballistic face mask? Nah. Half face mask. Ooh, I kinda like that one. You know what? I'm gonna go with. Um. I wanna go with the half face mask. That looks really cool. Uh, headset. Headset. B. Uh, you know, I'm gonna go with. Wait, earpiece? That looks cool. Hey, that's. Yeah, ha hand gear. Oakley Pilot. Uh, fingerless Kevlar. Oh, shit, yes! Fingerless gloves are like my weakness. Like, I love fingerless gloves. They're like super badass. Standard issue. Drone? Oh, shit, yes. Camelback? The fuck? Y strap? What the hell is a Y strap? Oh, that. Uh, I'm just gonna go with. Camo back. You can go with that. Can I look like straight somebody out of Watch Dogs? Like a I look like a straight assassin. Patches. Animals, brands, flags, military, malicious. I'm gonna go with military and go with the one that looks like that one. That looks really cool. Okay, so special outfits. Set one. Two. Yeah, now. I think I'm good. I think I'm good. Let's do this shit. Did the physical trade can be changed after the step? Yes, I look super bad. Yes, I look super bad. Uh, I'm gonna go with veteran, cause I don't know shit. Cause I think I think that's a normal like difficulty. Let me know in the comment section what car what kind of character do you want to build? Like what character did you build in Ghost Recon in this beta? Or like when it comes out, what character do you want to build? Cause I just built like a straight like assassin like cat character. I built a straight assassin watchdogs. You do not fuck with me kind of character. That's the kind of character I want to betray. That's the kind of like character I want to betray in like these kind of games. I don't want to be like the standard military, all high and mighty, big band, tough and buff, testosterone everywhere. I want to be like the low blow, stealthy. You know, looking like it, looking like it, look, looking like civilian clothing kind of character. Cause it looks even looks. Even look like is like it's like stereotypical like call of duty looking kind of character doing all these badass stuff it makes the game even more rewarding even more cool They murdered. You knew him? He was a friend of mine. Sorry for your loss. I could say it comes with a job, but it doesn't get any easier. No, it doesn't. Guess you've been down here a while. I've been living as Karen Bowman, international aid worker for just about five years. Means living rough, but as a cover, it gets me out and about. At least it comes with a chopper. How'd you get in country? A fluent business class from Manaus. Hey, I'm refreshed and ready for work, right? I just hitched rides from Barranco, Peru. How about you? I got on board a bus in Huey, Argentina and drank all the way to Via Zone. Nobody wants to deal with a drunk on the bus. That explains why you smell like ass. I've heard rumors about you guys. I was a rookie field officer in Moscow when the coup went down. There was talk you were involved? Must have been someone else. We were never there. It's not every day you get to meet an urban legend in the flesh. You should tell that to my kid. Maybe he'd listen when I tell him to take the trash out. Is it hard being someone who doesn't officially exist? You tell me, Karen Bowman, international aid worker. I'm sure.
sure you've seen the horrible, fucked up shit humans are capable of when there are zero repercussions. But let me tell you right now, no matter how you compartmentalize, how you desensitize, you can't prepare for El Sueño. He's got a religious streak that rates pretty close to delusional. He's taken vows of poverty, chastity. If he's not in it for the chocha or the money, he's in it for the power. This joint task force is CIA, DEA, JSOC. I'm your resident spook for this ride. Welcome to Operation Kingslayer. Our briefing said there'd be a contingent of locals. The guitar is 26. They're a group of rebels who've been giving Unidad and Santa Blanca some resistance. We'll meet their leader, Pakatari, as soon as we touch down. The Libyans have a long history of hating us Yankees, but this time, let's hope the enemy of my enemy will be my friend. But don't turn your back on him. I'm not going to. Soldiers. This is the help you promised? That Sandoval promised? A single Yankee died, so you send a handful of soldiers. Hundreds of Bolivians have died from Santa Blanca's bullets. Where will my hundreds of soldiers come from? As Americans, we aren't here, remember? These soldiers are the best covert ops team our country has to offer. With their help, you won't need hundreds of soldiers. Are you familiar with the word Huber, Senora Bowman? Meet Pakatari, leader of the resistance group Kataris 26. We will be working with the rebels to destabilize Santa Blanca's organization. They've been fighting Santa Blanca and corrupt Bolivian officials for nearly six years now. We'll need to coordinate targets. There's no time for this. We have information on Amaru's whereabouts. Amaru? You found him? Amaru is one of the founders of the Kataris 26. More than that, her group? is founded on his ideas. Without his theories of an agrarian proletariat, there would be no organized resistance against Santa Blanca and the corruption in our government. Amaru must be saved. If you were to assist my people, it would do much to earn my confidence. Where is he? We do not know exactly. We know he is in this province and that there is a Santa Blanca lieutenant who knows where he is. I'll put a call into the activity, see if they can dig more intel out of the airwaves. Start looking for that lieutenant and keep me informed of everything via sat phone. Good hunting. Saving Amaro is important to our cause, Yankee. Make sure you don't kill the Santa Blanca lieutenant before you get the chance to ask him questions. I apologize to you guys if you heard like the audio cutting in now a little bit. That wasn't like that wasn't like your computer line. That was actually the game. The game was actually oh, what the fuck? People. It was actually cutting cases. in now. Oh. I tell you, I'm not too comfortable working with Pakistan. That wasn't like your system. Like, that was actually the beta. The beta was cutting in now. What the fuck? Enter enter a vehicle. Oh, End oh, day, oh, what the fuck? This is a revenge mission. We need to focus and get this done quick so before we get stuck grenade. between local politics and a firestorm of cartel bullets. First objective, track down that Santa Blanca lieutenant so we can find Amaru. Ooh, uh. Roger that. All right, so I was gonna do co-op though, but like I don't want like I don't I don't know what the co-op like capabilities of this is. Like I don't know if like if I join co-op, it'll join me on their mission, or like it'll join me like 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 why just skip ahead and like join their mission? I don't even like I don't want to like skip ahead and like miss the story, but. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna like go all the way to the uh, lieutenant and then cut the video there and then make a new video where so it actually gets back. I, I, I was thinking about cutting it rapidly, but I think about like, nah, let me drive all the way there first before I end it here. Order assault. Oh, I don't want to order assault. Fuck! I'm a bad driver in games, guys. Don't this up. Oh shit! What's up? I am a very shitty driver when it comes to driving. I'm very shitty. Like, oh shit! Sorry, dude! Fuck, fuck, fuck! Yeah, uh, I am. I am a very bad driver. You should that like that dumb self perfectly a co-op game. Never let me drive. Out of the way. You never let me drive. 
Especially a game like GTA and shit with the car still flying. You never let me drive. Oh shit! You never let me drive. I'm actually trying to try my very best to stay on the road. I'm trying my very best. Fuck. Yeah. I'm trying my very best and it's failing. Oh shit! Fuck the fuck I am still trying not to like fucking craft this shit off course. Now, how do you guys think of Ghost Recon Wild Wave so far? Like, other than the fact that, you know, the audio and the, like, the lip syncing was, uh, awful. Alright, so that's gonna be it. How do, how do, how do, okay. okay. That's gonna be this part, guys. When we come back, we're gonna be locating Set the Blanca's lieutenant and give you more information and take down this cartel. So, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll be seeing you, Ghost, in the next Ghost Recon part. Up. We got hostiles in the area. Oh, shit. How do I like? How, how do I like in the cover and shit? Peace, out, everyone. Have a marvelous, spectacular Ghost Recon filled day.